All right, everybody, it's time to face a crossroads with the Seattle Seahawks. As of this recording, the Seattle Seahawks sit at 2-5. and five. They are five games back of the division lead and four games back of the first wildcard spot. Plainly and simply, in a season where the team was trying to make a run, it's looking very bleak. And when you have a season that was supposed to end in success and a deep playoff run and have it end in disaster and more losses than wins, you are headed towards a difficult offseason. You are headed towards an offseason where you are going to have to make some difficult choices with the future of this franchise. And even though there are 10 games left, even though there is still football to be played, and even though there is football to be watched, I think it's time that we as fans decided how we're going to be mentally treating this team in this offseason. So, I have plotted out multiple paths for this upcoming 2022 NFL offseason for the Seattle Seahawks. And, with where we sit right now at Two and five, disastrous season, wreck of a season, three game losing streak, four game losing streak overall at home, and all these negative things. We need to decide how we're going to approach this offseason and what we're going to try to get out of it. So, in this video, I'm going to present to you the pills. These are the pills that you can take as a fan. And I want everybody here to think about their options for a little bit. And once you're done watching this video, and after you've had the chance to consider your options, go to the link in the video description or check the community tab and tell me which pill you took. All right, let's go over our options here. You take the red pill and everything comes to a halt. Everything ends. Russell Wilson traded, Pete Carroll fired, or forcibly retired, whichever you prefer. And with Pete Carroll let, being let go, his cronies go, Ken Norton, his children, maybe Mike Solari is included in that group as well. Everything go goes. Maybe John Schneider stays, but probably not. Maybe Shane Waldron stays, probably not. Blow it all up. Salvage what you can and try to figure out what you're going to do in the future. You take the blue pill and you just pretend this whole season was a bad dream. You pretend it didn't happen. You write it off. You say it's a fluke and nothing changes. Wilson comes back. Carol comes back. Schneider comes back. You reunite the whole crew for one more season. Most of your coaches come back, guys like Solari, guys like Carol's children. Maybe, maybe you get rid of Ken Norton. Maybe he's the one guy who falls on the axe. Maybe. But you take the blue pill, you treat all this like a bad dream, and you try to run it back in 2022. You take the black pill, and you go into a world of true despair. Russell Wilson gets traded, but the person in charge of distributing those assets, the person in charge of making moves and bringing in players and letting players go remains Pete Carroll and John Schneider. Carroll stays. Schneider stays. Most of the coaches stay. The guys that are in charge of this team right now continue to be in charge of the team. Maybe Ken Norton goes. Maybe he's the guy who falls on the guillotine, maybe he's the guy whose turn it is in the barrel. But you lose Wilson, and the guys in charge of putting the team back together are the same guys who have been here for a while. Or you take the white pill. In this scenario, Wilson stays. Wilson sticks it out with the Seattle Seahawks, but he's not going to recognize pretty much anything on the coaching staff. Carroll goes. All of Carol's cronies go. Again, the Nortons and Carol's children and Solari, they all go. Maybe, maybe 
Schneider stays, probably not. Maybe Waldron stays, probably not. And then you find yourself a head coach who is willing and excited to work with Russell Wilson. Those are the pills. And you get to decide what door to walk through. We do have a fifth option here, but um, that... Hey, if you want to take it, I'm not going to tell you you can't. But you can take the clear pill and just say, I don't give a damn about the offseason. I don't give a damn about 2022. I want to make the playoffs this year. If you want to hold on to optimism, then I'm not going to tell you you're wrong for it. But uh, if that's the case, then this next little video series might not really be for you. Nevertheless, if you want to take that pill, take it. And you can join us if the team continues to fail and lose. So, those are your options. Think about it. Think about what path you want to walk down. Of course, no matter what path you walk down, you can certainly discuss the other paths, and we will be doing that over the next couple of weeks at length. But let me know what you want to do. I will be posting a poll in the community section. There should be a link in the description. I want to see how you guys feel about what this team should do from go from here. Where do we go from here? Two and five, it's going to be a messy offseason, period. Unless this team goes on a super hot winning streak for the rest of the season, unless this team catches fire and makes the playoffs and makes a run, something has got to give. So, what do you say? Red pill, blue pill, black pill, white pill, clear pill. Make your choice known. I will be making a video for each of these choices, and I will be discussing the ramifications I will be offering up predictions on where the various paths might lead. I will be offering alternative paths to my predicted path as well. And we'll see where I see the team landing over the next few seasons. Think about it. It's a big decision. And it could very well affect your fandom and your ability to root for a winning team for the next five years. All right. I can only show you the door, you have to walk through it, or however that goes. See you guys whenever my internet allows me to get another video up. Let me know. I will be going in order from most popular choice to least popular choice. And whatever, whatever order it comes out in, we're going to talk about it. See you guys later. Go Hawks.